so just, uh, we're double checking a couple of little things here. Uh, we've got um, AC Paradise is going to put on a, a quick skit for us to get us started. Yay! Woo! And then we'll have our official greeting, and then we'll be able to watch episodes three, four, and five. <laughs> Anyone notice what episodes are currently online? One, two. One and two. One and two. Guess what's not online? Three, four, and five. You guys have been paying attention. <laughs> Very nice. What do we win? Very nice. Give us stuff. And I'm really just up here for eye candy while we're double checking a couple of things. Um, my name is Curtis Shaw. I work for Funimation. I'm, uh, I'm the marketing guy for Fairy Tale, so I'm pretty excited. Thank you, sir. Talk to my wife. <laughs> All right, let's get this started with the cosplayers from American Cosplay Paradise. They'll be performing right in front of the screen. Woo! A little skit for you in three, two, one, go. <laughs> I'm so bored. Gray, complete a mission with me. I just scanned the bulletin board and found the perfect jobs for you and me. Missions? Count me in. Oh, me too! At this rate, I won't be able to pay this month's rent! Even though I only invited Grey. Natsu, Lucy, soon you shall know my wrath. <laughs> One to dead or alive. Straw Hat Captain. Reward? 300 million berries. Who the hell pays for missions and berries? Next. Kick the can with the commoners. Signed, Host Club King. That one sounds <laughs> easy. Plus, if he's a king, then the reward must be huge. I bet I'd be free from paying rent for months. <laughs> Water, 35 liters. Carbon, 20 kilograms. <laughs> Gather these ingredients for a human. The next word is crossed out and taboo is written next to it. <laughs> that one sounds dangerous. Dangerous? Let's do it! Do you even know what taboo is? Of course I do! It's a board game where you try to make your team say a word without using keywords. <laughs> where do you even come up with this stuff? Next, find Waldo. Again? That mission pops up every week! <laughs> uh, are you Waldo? Nope. I'm with Wizards Quarterly and I'm gonna be doing a feature on Fairy Tale. Thanks for meeting me here on such short notice. Wizards Quarterly? Oh, wait, you mean that, that magazine that gets all the latest news on all the guilds all over the country? Natsu, I thought you said this was just for the newspaper! Magazines, newspapers, what's the difference? Oh, wow, this is awesome! What do you want to know about Fairy Tale? We at Wizards Quarterly want to write about what exactly it is that makes Fairy Tale the strongest guild out there. Let's start by talking to its strongest member. And here she is. That would, that would be, be me! me. Man, Natsu, who are you trying to kid? Have you forgotten who won the last match between us? Whoa, whoa, Gray. I think you might have gotten a brain freeze just now. I totally won that last match. Get out of my face! You want to go right now? I'm getting all fired up. Wow, talk about lucky. I'm really going to see a match between two fairy tale wizards. This isn't the time to feel excited! Hey, did you forget that I'm here? Ice make swords! Whoa, so that's ice magic? Yeah, Gray can make whatever he wants out of ice. He's also really strong. But wait, is it not to a fire dragon slayer? Can't he just melt the ice? Oh yeah! Fire dragons! Breath! Wow, this is so cool! Really? Because this happens every day, and it's getting kind of old. I guess it makes sense that an ice and fire wizard wouldn't get along. But how do you get these guys to stop? I have an easy solution to this. Don't you worry. Oh, hi, Erza. Hey, Erza. We weren't fighting at all. I... The two of us were getting along great today. As always, I... we were just uh, showing each other some new <laughs> moves. 
Lucy, that's not fair! Wait, don't scare me like that! Seriously, that was low. Now I feel gross for being so... <sighs> close to that flamer. <laughs> flamer? <laughs> shut up, you snow for brains! What did you just say? Did you just tell me to shut up? Yeah, because your blabbing's pissing me off, nudie boy! Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Who's this Urza? That name sounds familiar. Doesn't she go by another name? Urza? Well, well, what a coincidence! Here she is! Oh no, we're not falling for that again. Seriously, Lucy, you can't fool us again! We're gonna settle this match once and for all, and not even Urza can stop us! Erza's strong, but she's not invincible. Yeah, and since we have this fancy reporter here, how about I challenge Erza to a match so there's a witness? Then I'll show her who's the strongest in all of fairy tale. Oh, really now? Erza! Hi! Uh, welcome back! We were just, uh, joking around. You know how it is around fairy tale. Always making up stories and, uh... Wait, now I remember. That's Erza Scarlet, also known as Titania. She's one of the strongest in fairy tale, only one of the few ranked as an S-Class wizard. She specializes in requip armor and weaponry, right? That is correct. In my absence, it seems you two have forgotten how to behave. I think it's time for a training session. Just like the good old days. No, 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 no! We're perfectly fine! We don't need training! No! You can't make me not again! I take back everything I said! Look, Natsu and I are total BFFs! Lucy, help! Don't worry, this is just a day in the life of fairy tale. Wow, I can see why you guys would have the title of the strongest guild. You're all ridiculously strong. Wait, I just realized. Could you be... <laughs> oh, oh, what about me? Could you be the stunning, world-renowned idol of fairy tale? The one whose beauty stops men dead in their tracks? Well, I don't know about that. You must be Mira Jane. <laughs> <laughs> They've said my name at least ten times since you've met us. I don't remember. I'm Lucy Hartfilia, Celestial Wizard. I use these celestial keys to summon spirits! Really? The office didn't say anything about a celestial wizard. Well, I'm still kind of new. Here, let me show you what I can do! Alright, here you go, Lucy. This is your big chance to show everyone what you're made of! I'll show off my most impressive spirit! What's the matter? The reporter totally has the wrong idea about me! My dreams of an amazing debut have been ruined! <laughs> Don't sweat it, Lucy. I'm sure you'll be okay. There'll be other chances. You'll just have to work a little bit harder for the next time they do a feature on Fairy Tale. Actually, I switched notebooks with him on purpose. <laughs> I wrote down all good, positive things about Fairy Tale. So whatever he had written about you, or anyone in here, doesn't mean a thing. Lemmy, you're amazing! Oh, I almost forgot why I came back. I need you guys for a mission. A mission? Alright! Let's go get ready! I'm all fired up! Woo! American Cosplay Paradise! Why did you guys start? Uh, now, just a one quick, very, very special announcement. The original creator of Fairy Tale, Hiramashima.
What's up, everyone? Eh, 僕も皆さんと同じで、え、今日初めて英語版のえアニメを見ることになります。すごい楽しみにしてます。Just like you, this is the first time I'll see the American version of the anime, and I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed all the way into the beginning. I mean, to the end, sorry. <laughs> So the first person I'm going to introduce is the end-all, be-all of Fairy Tale at Funimation, the director Tyler Walker. Thank you, guys. I really、uh, hope you liked it, and I appreciate everyone being here.、Uh, we had an amazing time working on the show. I love my cast. They're amazing.、Uh, they did a great job. And let me introduce them、uh, one by one. We have Todd Habercorn. <laughs> hey, guys. As、uh, the voice of Natsu, Jeremy Lee. <laughs> Uh, we have Newton Pittman as Gray, and of course、uh, the lovely and talented Colleen Clinkenbeard as Urza. You're all lovely and talented. Especially you, Newton. Thank you. Yeah. Is it in the middle? Is this one on? Okay. <laughs> So、uh, just let's quickly start out. Can you guys just go down the line and tell us the best thing you love about your particular character?、Uh-huh. Uh, I love that I can go into the booth with a voice and walk out not being able to speak. Woo!、Uh, I really love the keys, and I love. I just love the show. You love、so. Clue. I love Clue. Yeah. <laughs> I love taking off my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she combines the best of Riva Hawkeye's toughness and Yuko's silliness. So. I- <laughs> All right, so we've got live mic here. If you want to just start lining up on me, we can go、uh, one and one to try to get some questions answered before our time's looking at about seven fifteen. Is about as close as we're going to put this thing. So we may not be able to get all the way through the line, but want to make sure that we at least get through a good chunk. And I appreciate everyone's patience this evening. <laughs> Everyone okay up there? Yeah. We have like an hour. So your question?、Um, well, I have、um, something for Todd. It's a gift、um, because、um, I heard you got a delay, and、um, I drew a picture of Natsu, and I wrote you a poem of one of your、um, characters. So、Aww. may I bring it up to you? Yes. Not even my own mother writes me poetry. Thank you so much. Um, I um, actually really don't know how much of the show. What I'm doing for Kenny is Natsu. You were trained by a dragon, right? Uh huh. That's right. Wasn't that dragon? Didn't the dragon disappear, right? 
Yes. Will the giant ever come back in like the manga or the series or no? Uh, that is going to be a surprise for both of us, I think. But I know that if the dragon is trying to get to the show through the New York traffic, it'll be a while. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, yes, my question is for the voice actor of Natsu and Gray. Be honest. How many Yaoi Fang requests have you been happy that dragon? <laughs> All right, I didn't hear you. Well, it's something about Yaoi, so you know that it's going to be, um, yeah. Newton on Todd action, what we're talking about here. Oh. Cream-filled center. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Whoa. There we go. Uh, Newton? Uh, you go ahead first. I'll be on top for this answer. <laughs> So basically, what do we think of this business? Um, you know, it's it's like uh, it's like it's like raspberry jam. <laughs> some people like it, some people don't. <laughs> but you can put it on your bread with peanut butter. There we go. So I have a question for Colleen. Do you like check before you avoid? I sacked a character to make sure that they're incredibly attractive, because they all are. I absolutely do. You know what? It's just a thing. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't recommend casting me as anybody who doesn't have large breasts, because I never suit the voice. So Luffy is going to have to have large breasts at some point. <laughs> um, my question is for everyone. Uh, the cast of Fairy Tale is really like weird. Um, how do you guys get into this weird mindset to play them? Dude, we are weird. They're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. naturally yeah. weird. Yeah. Oh my god, it's all natural. Uh, yeah. e eating uh, paint chips, <laughs> pages of manga, whatever. Exposure to black mold. <laughs> You try not to come in when you don't have much energy, I'll say that. Yeah. It's, it, this show takes a lot of energy, and Tyler's good at pulling it out of us, but it definitely, you come in amped, or you come in defeated already. Yeah. More. Give me more. We need more. Louder. Give we're locked in one. More. We're locked in a box with <laughs> I mean, yeah. what can we do except just have a good time? The walls are padded. The it's walls are padded. Insane. <laughs> They already know we're crazy. <laughs> we built this in. city on fairy tale. Build this city. <laughs> next question. Next question. Next question. Um, I have a question for all of you. What's your favorite lines in the series so far? Favorite lines coming? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what was one of the lines with the with the with when I switched? Oh. An episode. Oh. It would be something that. Well, that's kind of a spoiler. Yeah. yeah, spoiler. yeah. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. spoilers. What's your What's your favorite story arc so far? Uh, for each one of you, let's try that one. Well, I mean, they're all they they all have their their. Galuna, my story. Yeah, Galuna, Galuna's pretty awesome. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's when we uh, find uh, Gray's backstory, when he fights, oh, uh, sorry, when he uh, fights, or when he discovers Deliora, the one who uh, who destroyed his village. And if you buy, when you buy the DVD, uh, there is a, in the, in the commentary, there is a... Uh, you can pre-order it now on rightstuff.com. There's actually an inspired a song uh, by me and Newt, and we perform it in, in the uh, DVD commentary. So, yeah. but uh, that was one of the most most fun, and we can see some of the darker aspects of fairy tale and get to some of the meat of the characters. Yeah, I agree with that completely. I think too, it was the most emotional uh, episodes for me to do. So I think that's you had to just be there like, in the moment. So I loved it. I like the uh, Loki, Loki, Lucy story arc. Oh yeah. Right. yeah. I'm glad you guys like that one too. Uh, anytime I get to interact with Plu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I like it when they have mushrooms on their heads. That's a lot. <laughs>
And uh, Galuna, the added bonus, I get I get to uh, cast my wife as a uh, giant rat. So she was very flattered. She did great. Um, two things. One, the whole silliness and over-the-top nature of the show reminded me very much of of the Slayers because you know if you think about it, it's very much very similar to what what these characters are going through. And secondly. Since there are so many scenes in these episodes where you guys literally have to put a lot of enthusiasm into your characters, it must be really exhausting on the throat. How do you manage to keep your voices in good condition without ever having them go dry or, or getting a sore throat even toward the end? What do you do in order to prevent that from happening? It, it happens. We don't prevent that from happening. Yeah. yeah. It happens. <laughs> on my stool next to me, I have a Diet Coke hot tea, water, uh, cough drops, like, yeah. you, and you just kind of go back and forth in it, and mostly sleep, too. Yeah. And we have a, a fairy tale tea, which I call yeah. it, so everyone, you know, after a, a session, it's like, you give them a couple bags of uh, throat comfort tea, and uh, it's very necessary. Oh, yeah. yeah. I get a sore throat directing them. Yeah. <laughs> There was a time we were supposed to record, and uh, I had, I did the video game Rage right before, and I lost my voice for nine days on that, and that kind of put us behind because I, I got scared because I had to make the call to Tyler and be like, Master, I've lost my voice. <laughs> oh yeah, you sent me a video. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're dragging. Oh, <laughs> Stall. Yeah, <laughs> my voice was gone, and, and you turned around in your chair like the emperor. I told you to wait on the command ship. <laughs> oh, we eventually got it back. <laughs> you need some fairy tale tea. <laughs> <laughs> At the grocery store. Seriously. The top secret it is. <laughs> top secret I just gave away. I'm sorry. Well, may I just say I love you, Top Habercorn. You're amazing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all go need to stop that, really. <laughs> I've been waiting two years to come here and meet you in person. Like, I'm like, right now, so nervous. Just like talking to you and looking at you right now. Well, I'm sorry my look makes you so nervous. I apologize. I feel like Blame my parents. Right now. I feel like it's so much. Like, I just want to hug you so much. And like, um, I think that since, well, when I saw you voice acting, like, I want to be a voice actor now. It's like my dream now. So I just want to say thank you and the fairy tale cast because you guys are amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Best of luck to you. Thank you. I'm glad we got to meet you. Hello, it's like Christmas for Colleen. Um, you've done, the, like I said, say, a lot of heroes like Luffy and the new Gohan. And I, was, I just want to know how do you diff try it? I mean, do you have a way of differentiating them so they don't all sound too much alike? Yeah, that's hard, especially with the boy voice or my low voice. I mean, I only have so many of those in me. Um, the low voices, the low voice women are harder to keep apart than the boy voices. Uh, the boy voices, there are so many different places I can I can put it in my throat. It can be scrappier or it can be more nasally or... <laughs> I reckon. Uh, <laughs> so, I, uh, that, that's a little bit easier. It's easier to differentiate between Luffy and Maso than it is to differentiate between Yuko or Riza or Urza. So, um, it is hard and hopefully you guys are forgiving when we're recast. I mean, Brad Pitt plays lots of things. <laughs> I'm totally Brad Pitt, I mean, right? <laughs> if anybody is going to play me in the movie of me, it would be Brad Pitt. This, this question is for uh, Todd and Jeremy, because Colleen, you already answered this one with the other. Well, when you introduce yourself. Um, how, how was it transitioning from your roles from Triple X Holic to Fairy Tale? Was it easy? Was it hard? Like, what exactly was it? I, I mean, I think that... Uh, Himori and Lucy are very different. Lucy's a little more outspoken and a little crazier. So, I mean, 
I, I like to work and I really love this show and I've always wanted to be magical. <laughs> and let's face it, that's not going to happen unless it's a movie or a cartoon, so. I think you're magical. Thanks, Colleen. I think you're magical. <laughs> I think that Watanuki, I lost my voice doing that show too, but it was a different kind of yelling. Yeah. It wasn't power yells, it was running from specters and ghouls. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Watanuki probably was not raised by a dragon, but like a <laughs> tofu dragon or something. That was a good warm-up warm for you. That was a good warm-up yeah. to your roles as Karo and Nazir. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but, uh, they're, they're all fun. I, I love it all. And it's, it's all, they've all, both of those roles have both afforded me a nap in the booth because they're very ex exhausting. <laughs> <clears throat> Caitlin, um, Hello. I just, Hi, Caitlin. just have to say I love all you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wanted to know from you guys specifically, um, what would you tell people who want to be voice actors? What kind of advice would you? Yeah. What type Woo! of advice from you as professionals would you give other people? Well, the thing about that, that that's an entire panel. You know, that's a, that's a, there, there's no set path, there's no set way. It's like uh, there's about a thousand ways to cook an egg, there are about a thousand ways to get into the business. So I, all of our stories are different, they're all varied. Yeah. Some involve bribery, some involve <laughs> murder. <laughs> Those are our ways, not necessarily yours. I'm sorry, Jeremy. No, go for it. The two things I would say is you need to live where the action is. If you live somewhere, New York's perfect, but if you live somewhere uh, that it's not going on, then it's not going to happen. Um, and the other thing is get yourself an agent uh, because the only way to be a voice actor is to be an actor. And uh, they can get you training or get you to let you know where the training needs to happen before you can get to them. So. I would say if you want to be a voice actor, actor, artist, anything, you have to sincerely love it because it's going to be a long, hard road and it's going to be filled with rejection and this is no joke. It's like we still get rejected all the time. At so, least four times a week. Yeah, but that's our, that's our job. Professional and if we didn't rejection, love it, dude. Professional. Yes, professional. Yeah, not personal rejection, although that happens too. Actually, that does. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, in, in all sincerity, you have to love it. Otherwise, it's going to make your life miserable. So. Like my dad. Four things: lie, cheat, steal. <laughs> And the biggest one is just practice reading out loud. That's, I'm serious. It's it, true. it helps so much. Just anything you can read out loud, like, you know, if you're in the bathroom, reading the shampoo bottle, whatever. Just read out loud. Get used to your voice, familiar with it, and learn to use it as a tool. Something was mentioned about interviews before you guys got here. Are there going to be any interviews as extra features in the DVD? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, we did. Uh, we have uh, two commentaries uh, per volume uh, with uh, cast and crew. Uh, like we said, we did the song, yeah. and uh, there will be. We we filmed some today. Uh, some uh, very talky talky <laughs> interviews. So uh, there's a lot to say. So hopefully. Uh, we'll Yeah, and I think um, it's, uh, thank you for bringing up the extra features on the DVD and stuff. I think, uh, and I've said this in the interview, but the, 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 pro the biggest uh, danger with a show that is as long as Fairy Tale is getting through all of it. So like when we came here with Soul Eater, that was a... a <laughs> That was, a, that was a great show, and we were so happy to get the blessing of, of the Japanese uh, group that worked on it. But we got through it, and it was 52 episodes. This is a much longer <laughs> show. So what I can stress is if you do want it to continue into the English dub, you have to get out there and you have to support it by not waiting until the later editions come, but when it comes out, getting it right, when it comes out, or pre-ordering it. So it lets us know, oh, they like it, so we should keep getting it. And also, we have to get to 100 episodes dubbed because then I get the Natsu tattoo. <laughs> Aww. I have a really 
huge fan of all you guys, especially Triple Xolic. Woo! Yeah! Okay. Non biased of whose voice you're doing, whose powers would you want in Fairy Tale the most? <laughs> oh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Uh, whose powers? Man. Oh, no, it's really hard. Yeah. Makarov, alright? Yeah. That's a good catch-all. We're gonna, well, I'll have a Makarov to see who's the best Makarov. <laughs> yeah, I go from oh, time. Little, you know, yeah. Exactly. Yes, doesn't she, like, shape shift to other people? Yeah, she shapes fetishes. That would be a cool power. And she turns into the demon. Yeah. I would be here. Yeah. Which has like almost the most brutal scream in the entire show yeah. with Monica like like gave me nightmares. <laughs> That's way better than changing clothes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lucy. One, Todd, we missed you at the autograph signing. I was on a plane coming in, right, right, and I, I came straight from the airport to here, so I apologize about that. You didn't even eat. No, nope. don't need food. Well, who, do you think, who do you think each one of you are in, in fairy tale personality wise? Who do we think we are? No, oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I think I'm not so. I'm, I make impulsive decisions. Pretty much 50% of the decisions I make in a week are all impulsive. <laughs> and of those 50%, 25 are good. <laughs> probably be the most like Lucy, I guess. She's goofy, and also when she like, she's passionate. She means something. Don't get in her way. She will take you down. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> I would like to think I have that in common with her. Thank you. Um, I definitely have to say Gray. I think this was cast pretty perfect. <laughs> Woo! I'm always smiling. Always happy. I keep my clothes on. <laughs> He did this yeah. just for, yeah. just for today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, mine's Urza, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a total bee sometimes, but uh, I still like people, I promise. <laughs> Good job, Tyler. Good job, Tyler. Yeah, it's true. Who are you? I'm uh, Vichter. Now, who would you want? Oh, who do you think uh, of like? Makarov. <laughs> <laughs> Director and the guild master. <laughs> <laughs> you do all my bidding. All you all do my bidding every day. <laughs> yeah, all right, go ahead. Hi, um, I'm so nervous because I'm such a huge fan of you. I um oh. like to watch Soul Leader, and I drew a picture of Death the Kid. Well, from here. <laughs> Rub it in. <laughs> How about this? I'll give you, I'll, I'll, to make up for that, I'll do something that, that we'll probably will never do again. How about that? Okay. I'll give you a, a, a not to call out. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Could you do that again, but make the last uh, syllable uh, like twice as long? That's exactly what happens in the booth. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. um, hi. So, did any of you, like, while you're recording Fairy Tale, have any like troubles with certain lines at all? <laughs> They're looking all at me. Every single one of them. Uh, I think the. I don't think it's so much getting the lines out as getting the power behind it. And I think that's the biggest problems I had is when I do the ice maker, that crazy stuff, any kind of the calls and battle cries, things like that. It's just making sure it's there. They like to leave bombs for the people that record first. We'll leave bombs for the other people as we're recording and they'll make fun of a line or add a line. And uh, so sometimes they're really, really, really funny and I can't get the fake line out of my head when recording, so I'll laugh through it a couple of times. Tia had quite a few good ones that she left for me. Thank you. 
Alright, I'm um, getting real close, so probably just a couple more to warn y'all in the back. Uh, hi, my name is Chris. Um, oh, I'm just... recording something. This question is to Ms. Colleen. Um, I'm a huge fan of you. Huge fan. Um, namely right. Luffy. So, um... <laughs> um Wow. Uh, would you give oh, no. a photo? I'm really sick. I'm really I'm sick. Sorry. <laughs> would I give a what? Just a little quote or anything in his voice. Oh. It's yeah. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. This is love, you guys. <laughs> Call, so this is probably it. I'm sorry. Short question. How updated are you on the manga? Oh. Oh. Tyler. Tyler, what do you got to say? Say this again. This is actually to all of you. Oh, well, I've, I've got uh, all the all the uh, volumes. I've read all the volumes that have been uh, released uh, stateside, and I did. I uh, looked at. I read the the ones that were available before I started the show uh, last October. <coughs> uh, I just wish they came out faster, so I could. I just want to know as much about it. So yeah, I, I'm gonna steal this. I don't know how to read, so <laughs> <laughs> must make lines real tough. Um, I, they have to tell me my lines. <laughs> <laughs> We've shaken hands and taken pictures with the manga creator. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I mean, that's kind of a. I, I I'm not as caught up on the manga as Tyler, but I have read. A couple volumes. It helps. <laughs> yeah. it helps. All right, seriously, guys, I'm so sorry, but we've got. I know. I apologize, but we've got to cut it because X Xbox is going to come in here and they because they're going to need to get in the space. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Big round of applause, everyone. Big round of applause.